stool. Mm. Got it? Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Making a cake. All right, we got Felicity. For, for Grandpa John. Cool with this. You wash those hands. Hey, you gonna... wash your hands every single time you cook. Oh, you I just cut the no yolk milk? on my hand. No shell, no shell, no, no shell. shell. Mm -hmm. Okay, tough it out. One, two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> You know what Baker's elbow is? No. I know. Me neither. Oh, Alright, look at that. Don't start eating. Straight up. What do you think? Be super honest. It's crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We, we heard it there, folks. He likes it. Off my hand. Oh, my Wolf Tech Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tech Videos episode. I am damn excited about today's episode because it includes the oh, Ozark Trail G.1 Explorer gravel bike. Uh, man, you guys hey, got to you, see us. You, I tell you, you can, you need a moment alone with that bike. Um, I was I was a fan of it. I am a fan of it. There are some fixes that need to be fixed on the bike um, as far as making it more comfortable. Uh, everybody was telling me, and I appreciate the comments, right? Because I've never ridden a gravel bike in my life. So everybody in the comments was telling me where to, from hand placement, mm -hmm. from seat position. Your wrong to names you're using. All the wrong names. You know, they're really nice about it. But anyway, um, I will tell you guys I those comments. I think the gravel community seems to be a little better than the mountain bike as far as politeness. Those comments have really helped, guys. But something I got to fix. It's been about, it's been longer than a couple weeks ago we did that video. And my wrist is just healed. My wrist, no, it's been a week ago, it felt week. like somebody got me in a wrist lock and just cranked that sucker down. It killed my wrist. Mm. I, it was it was so bad. And then somebody on the episode didn't know my wrist was hurting. Somebody on the episode said, hey, you need to place your hands on the inside, not so much on the outside. Anyway, guys. You, you, um, you don't take kindly anything that messes with your love life. No, no, absolutely not. So, you know, how do you use, yeah, anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, on today's episode, we are going to be doing some work and some upgrades. This will be part one of the uh, the gravel bike exploration, man. This is all going to be science today. Uh, we have got <laughs> Wheel Tops all new EDS TX electronic wireless group set. Mouthful. All right, a wireless group set and also a brake set. So I'm thinking we'll probably mess with the group set first. And then on the next episode on part two, when we finish this bike out, as far as the group set stuff's concerned, wheel top stuff, uh, we'll probably do the brakes because that's uh, internally routed and there's going to be some clipping and all that stuff and nobody likes to see a bleed job on this channel. It's going to be a very interesting episode. Not only that, we also got some goodies back here we're going to be talking about what we're also going to be installing on the bike because everybody's a fan of this thing. And well, I'm, I'm really excited about this bike because, look, it was $248 and the cool thing is... I just got done riding it. We're going to do some upgrades to it, and I'm going to try to make it my own. You know what I mean? It's the only gravel bike that You're we have. You're not going to try to turn it into a mountain bike. I'm not going to try to turn it into a mountain bike. I'm going to yeah. keep it, you know, we're going to stay with the rigid fork, all that stuff. You guys mm. will be watching. Um, but, man, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's talk about what we've got on the workbench back here, and let's get into this bike and start building on apparently, it. Uh, apparently 50 pounds of pressure is too much. Yeah, apparently 50 is too much. Yeah, I'll have to dial it back on the air. All right, guys, here we go. Let's talk about some of the goodies before we get to the big goodies right here in the background. Uh, this here is Wolf Tooth Supple Bar Tape. I'm not sure if we're going to be installing this today, but um, I had to get this because I don't know if that wrap is reusable. So uh, I went down to a bike shop in Little Rock, and um, I think it was Bike Mike uh, is the guy's name. Old school guys, you would have loved him. Uh, man, he helped me out so much with just picking bar tape. Like, the guy was really good at his job. Yeah, you guys um, were having a little powwow. Yeah, we had a little moment, man, gravel bike stuff. But anyway, so we'll be using this uh, maybe on today's episode or possibly part two. Um, on a later episode, you guys will be seeing some mail time, all right? And uh, our boy old Chuck, one of our patrons, Thank sent you. us a saddle. Yeah, sent us a saddle, and he also sent us a seat post tube, 27.2. This will definitely lighten up. If you guys remember, on the gravel bike, the seat post tube right now is uh, steel. And, uh, yeah, it's a steel seat post tube. So we're going to be installing that, hopefully lighten it up a little bit. Is it steel for sure? Yeah. Um, our boy, old Armando Cardenas, another one of our patrons you guys have been seeing on Mail Time, just sent us this seat post clamp, Wolf Tooth seat post clamp. I'm going to be using this because you guys know how much of a pain in the butt 
getting that seat post just to stay still. And it's a gravel bike, so I'm not going to be uh, adjusting it constantly. We just got to get find a good spot, and we'll be putting this clamp on there as opposed to that quick release style. Um, I'm going to try this out. There's a lot of commenters out there said uh, you need to, and I'm sure it will help. They said you need to get your stem that you have on that bike that it comes with on the gravel bike and flip it upside down. This one right here is actually has a little bit more rise to it. It's a 35 degree rise. And this right here, a neat thing, this was my first stem upgrade that we've ever got on the GT Aggressor Pro when we started the channel. So it'll be kind of... Uh, yeah, it'd be kind of neat to install an original part that was purchased for the GT Aggressor Pro. We'll be installing that. A lot more rise and uh, maybe a little bit more reach. I'm not too sure. Okay, now let's get into Wheel Tops EDS TX Electronic Group Set and Brake Set Technology. Now, I would like to let you guys know this set here is not budget, okay? Uh, this set here is $585. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, $585. Um, it's, it's going to be interesting. Um, I know Wolfman's not going to like what I'm about to say, but it's going to be necessary for the tuning uh, capabilities uh, of this bike. I don't like how this is starting. Yeah, uh, wheel top. That says mineral oil. Uh, we're going to have to install an app um, uh, on this bike. or on this. computer I got for you to do that. Yeah, uh, we'll have to do it on the phone so we can do it on screen. Uh, we're going to have to install a... Um, an app, apparently you can customize things, uh, and we have to let it know, we have to let this whole group set know that this bike is a, what is it, a 2x7? Yeah. Yeah, um, and this group set is compatible to work with a uh, 7 to... It's come crashing down because I don't know about no installing the apps. It's supposed to uh, be compatible to work with a 7 to 13 speed. Now, I will let you guys know that is just too cool. Now, these are called, these are levers, but I believe this is called a hood is that what people were calling this was a hood i was calling it a horn they said the hood let me know in the comments when we refer to this i'm just gonna refer to it as a lever but um this is the part i kept holding on to here and everybody was like that's the hood man but you guys can see the little shifters there inside and well that's just gonna be the uh inside i thought there was an outside one. Oh, that's your left side that's for your front derailleur well how the hell would you shift it back I don't know. We'll figure that out. All right. That's one of them there. Now, this one here, I think we took out before, and it's got two levers. Yeah, that one's got two levers. So we've got that, and we've got that one on the inside. They feel really good quality, um, and for $585, it better. But with $585, you not only get the group set, but you also get your brake set back there, and it's hydraulic brakes. Okay, well, that's not super horrible. It's, it's, it's the brakes and the shifters and all that. Yeah, I mean, it's not as bad as now, it is sounds. Is it rechargeable, or does it take better? Okay, so it is rechargeable. I believe um, the levers here, the horn, <laughs> I think you have a rechargeable... Or you have a battery that goes inside there, right? Right on top of the hood. And um, that's where your battery goes for that. And then on your front derailleur and your rear derailleur, um, you have a little charging port right here on the back side. You guys what see kind of that? Charging port is it? It's a funky one. It comes with two charging cables. Okay, well, I need to start charging this stuff so I'm getting it. Yeah, um, and here's your little charging cable here. And it comes with two of these. So we've got one on the front and rear derailleur. Uh, this thing right here looks to be pretty interesting. I mean, there's a heck of a good amount of tension on there. Something else I do want to add that Will Top made sure that we want that they wanted us to mention was this derailleur and front derailleur is intended for a road bike. Now they just come out. They just come out with a um, a gravel bike group set, which I don't know what the difference is going to be. But Will Top did say they'd be interested in sending us a gravel bike. Um, group set as well so uh there may be another gravel bike in the works who knows uh here's the front derailleur very clean um it's just neat how sleek and just how modern this stuff is and you have to think guys this is all it's going to be because it's wireless like there's nothing else to it right so hopefully that app installs really easily and we're able to um to just run this thing but i'm just looking forward to this so front derailleur rear derailleur is a little bit more included of course you got the jockey wheels now we're just gonna have to do the shift test and and kind of let it speak for itself i guess install i would think is going to be decently easy and what's cool is it should take up some of the weight right considering it's it's wireless and there's not gonna be a bunch of cableage um so that's going to be your brakes or your uh, your group set there i'm just curious on what's this. the name of the brand wheel top it's magnetic Red? Yep, it's red. All right, the derailleur is charging. That light's right there. You see it? Yeah, I got it. All right. All right, guys. 
Here we go, using the uh, cyclist's bike stand, because it's green and it matches, and I'm all about matching. Wolfman is looking at the uh, the app right now, um, kind of trying to figure that out. Also, we've got the derailleur. I don't like putting apps on here that's not to the Play Store. Yeah. I really don't. Like, I, I'm really against it, so I'm having a hard time with this. File can't download securely. I'm, I'm worried about, because I'm not, I, I don't know... You're, you're not getting the magnitude of this situation. Well, we can, uh, okay. we'll just have to wait. Um, okay, we might on the part two have to program it. We'll see. Okay, we'll just figure it out. You know, one of the things that I'm curious on is if we can reuse this bar wrap, um, because I kind of want to save the other bar wrap if we can grab a new bar, because this right here is too narrow, and old bike Mike at the bike shop told me that he runs a 40... Can you please use something else besides that? Thank you. I think old Bike Mike said that he runs a 42 centimeter, and he told me that uh, gravel bikes go by centimeters, not millimeters, for some weird reason. I think because it's closer to an e-bike, or to a road bike. All right, now it's gonna be the weird part. See, this is how I have to remember how to wrap this thing. I'll probably have to watch this footage back. All right, now, let's roll this up here. There's a bolt. There's a mounting bolt right there. Now, how the hell are you supposed to get to that? All right, we're going to... I pulled this back right here, and there's a bolt that goes this away. It'd be very difficult to get to it from that angle. I wonder if we can pull this... We can pull that back. I'm, I'm curious on how in the heck we're going to do the brakes on this thing, because they're hydraulic. Now, I'm not sure on as far as the millimeter thickness on this bar tape is. It's pretty thin. What I like about that wolf tooth stuff that we've got, it's five millimeters thick, and it's going to be adding a lot more, uh, just a little bit of a buffer between the bar and the grip. I'm a thin grip man all day, but on that real thick gravel stuff I was riding on, holy crap, did I fill it through my hands. We'll unscrew this bolt like we did that side, and then we'll start taking apart the front brake and the derailleurs. guys we got all of the cableage undone I also had to take out the uh, caliper uh, the caliper cables brake cables I have not um, taken the calipers off because again that's gonna be for the brake video and I think all this will just brake undo episode. itself now what'd you say the brake episode yeah the brake episode uh, oh this is funky this is funky we'll stuff see. this is uh, this is unknown territories what this is I saw some damn cool stuff on Amazon though I saw some carbon bars that I got my eye on so just don't be surprised if one of these upcoming episodes there's some carbon bars being installed on this thing. Okay, first hood lever is off. You and again, keep all that stuff together and good. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna keep all this together. Uh, again, this this group set's not bad, guys. It's it's not bad. So we're not taking it off because or um, we're we're not taking it off and get rid of it because it's a bad group set. Um, we're just wanting to get the upgrade and get this. We've never done an electric uh, a wireless group set before. When we get done with these upgrades, let me screw that a little bit more. I have a film that's going to be around 27. I think we'll get down to 27 pounds on this thing. That'd be nice. Yeah, I just, I mean, you're talking about all the upgrades, like over time or group set? Over? No, like on after part two, group set and brakes pretty much, and but, seat post and clamp. Okay. Look at those bars. Those things are narrow, dude. I think if anything, we might lose half a pound. Do you think so? Well, I mean, because you're not really. Lightening it with anything. Yeah. Are we staying with the same free will cassette deal on it? For yeah. now, yeah. For now, we'll stay with the same free will and the same crank set. But honestly, I wouldn't mind changing out to uh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Um, We're not going one by. No, not going to go one by on this thing. But I wouldn't mind changing maybe the rear. Well, I mean, I don't think you need more gearing. Yeah, and that's the thing. You like got I got that to two by up front. I think it's fine once you learn how to use that better. Like that's what I was saying on the um, on the real time review. This thing, I got to what twenty three miles an hour, and you don't really have on to gravel. worry. You don't really have on gravel, and you don't or twenty three whatever. You don't really have to worry about chain slap because I wasn't going all crazy or riding anything. So that's what was interesting when uh, Wheel Top. I told them we'd be installing on a on a gravel bike. They're like, oh well, hang on, we we have a gravel group set. It's still in the works, but apparently it just come out. Like you can get that on Amazon right now. I want to see the differences, and word has it we just might have another gravel bike in the works. 
possible. That's all I'm saying. All right. Now, this guy here has got both of the electric shifters. Now, I'm guessing that is going to be for your rear derailleur. Okay. Now, is that, it, is, now that has a battery that doesn't be charged. Does that has a battery that does what not need to be charged? I think it's a flat battery. And it's right there in the front. You guys see that? Little cap. You know, you got wireless remote key fob for your car. It's a 2032 in there. Looks like it just takes one. All right, so this one, what I like about it, as opposed to the other lever, the stock one, this one's angled in there. It has like a little rounded out bit. Angled, get it from the front like that, and then it undoes your clamp or it loosens it. So I like that. Let's slip her on. Okay. Oh, man, that's going to get trip, huh? Somewhere up here is where it's going to go. <laughs> I have no clue. God, this is... This right here has got me nervous. Most of the time, I kind of, or we kind of know what we're doing. Well, a little bit. I have an idea. Yeah, we're not professionals. So we're going to snug him on there, too. I like when people tell us we're not professionals in the comments. Like, <laughs> thank you for the info. We would never have known. All right, front derailleur. One button. Maybe it's customizable where you hit it two times and it goes down. Or you hit it once, it goes down. You hit it twice, and it goes up. I don't know. This side over here, on the other hand, it's going to probably take some getting used to because you've got this lever here, and then you've got that button on the other side. You know, you're used to having, at least like on my road bike, I'm used to having the little horn that sticks out on this side so I can snap it, you know, like in the 7th and 8th gear. But that guy right there, that's going to take some getting used to. Probably a lot of miss, miss shifts. But remember, we're going to be doing the real-time review on this whole... This whole wheel top uh, electric groups at EDS TX. Um, the levers are nice, man. An another uh, little thing I want to mention on the levers: they are uh, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, and uh, waterproof. It's back going. Rear derailleur view put on. You said rear derailleur. Clap it up. Did we ever clap it? Possibly. I don't know. All right, we're putting on the rear derailleur now. What, it means you're gonna cut all that out. No, I'm gonna cut that out. Please charge and wake up before use. We'll figure out how to wake it up. EDS TX battery output is 7.4 volts at 2 amps, 800 milliamp. And there's a lot of tension on that. That gives me some hope. I think it would be plenty good enough for this, but hopefully we'll, if they ever send us another one for gravel bikes, we'll just be able to compare it a little bit. Yeah. So I'm going to have to kick out that B tensioner a little bit and then bolt her in because it, that top jockey wheel is going to be combined, uh, colliding with that lower cog so you guys can see right here that top jockey wheel is gonna is too far in on the cog and it's gonna be colliding so we're gonna tighten up this B tensioner a couple of turns and the closer you get that B tensioner that top jockey wheel the faster your shifts will be then we've got the high and low here all right so if that's the only tuning that we have to do with the derailleur that's good all right, front derailleur. What in the heck? Do we have a problem? What's the problem? I'm not seeing any way to mount it. There's a clamp on there. Look, there's a bolt. Does it use the old one? I see uh, the bolt. Is it yeah. a bracket or something? Uh, let's hope the old one has a bracket. Or something. Or something. All right, the old one has a bracket, but it's built onto it. It's a good thing this is part one, all right, because we got to order something. This here, $14.99 for a Siski front derailleur clamp. Why this group set does not come with that, I have no clue. I mean, even... Did you check the... I, I know I this the, is far-fetched. Did you check the other box to make sure it's not in there? I'll like, check the other box real quick. Um, I know it probably shouldn't be, but, you know, just in case. So yeah, the brake does not come with it. Sure. That is strange. You know, you'd think it would come with that clamp. Right. 15 bucks. Let's get this chain hooked on there and let's see if we can wake this thing up and shift it. Well, do you, okay. Yeah, you can put a master link there. Right? Yeah, I'll put a master link on there. All right, let's try that. All right, guys, here we go. Just got the chain put on there. Um, the good news is the jockey wheel and the cog are set up nice and smoothly. They're aligned. I don't know how we're going to wake this thing up. That's what it says to make sure we do. Before we do the shift test, uh, remember, we Wolfman is fixing to order the front clamp for the front derailleur. Um, and then uh, the rear, I, I guess that's it, right? Um, so why don't you like...
hold that button down or something? I don't know. Let's, let's start turning it. What, what I'm guessing is that from the factory, so I'm hoping from the factory, since it's 7 to 13, we won't have to use the app because it's already set I'm for hoping. 7. I don't know. Okay. How do we wake it up? I don't know. Let's see how I, I would hold the button down. Okay, not, no lights back here. Oh, there we go. Oh, it did something? Yeah, it just shifted right now. So it's probably set up maybe for something. Okay, press the little button. What's the that little, should go where's down. the little button? It's on the inside. It's right right in front of the long lever. There you go. You can see where you go, but I don't see the damn... That's the little button. That's the button. Oh, this is, the, this is the button? Okay, there you went. All right, we're shooting. Oh, oh, that's a button. Okay, now be careful here. Oh. This is trying to move over here. The front driller is moving? Yeah. Well, that's not good. Uh -uh. Okay, so right now we're in first gear, okay? Yeah, I don't have brakes. Me neither. All right, we're in first gear. Let me move this camera. If you heard, it was actually really quiet, and the Wolfman just said, that's quiet. What I'm worried about is if he hits that again, that's going to continue to try yeah, I'm to... I'm not going to hit that one. I'll hit the other one. Okay, okay. Uh, so thing. Okay, so let's see. Alright, Okay, we're going to go down towards... Uh, I'm going to go up towards seven. We're in first. Go ahead. Right. There's no way to go down. Oh, what did you do? Okay, so you have to hit them both at the oh, same time. Both? Okay, let me try both. Dude! Let me try both. Well, this, this one over here is making noises. Don't worry about that one. All right. It's actually working. Okay, so we're in. That's it. Okay. I'll tell you what, though. Keep pressing it all the way down. Yeah, I'm this one. Or go all the way towards them. Um, I'm watching it. Okay. Dude, that's cool. It's pretty cool. Let me it's get you this good. shot from over here. It's, it's going to shift for me. Guys, check it out. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. We're in first. That's quiet. Second, third, fourth. Okay, I have to do some tuning. Fifth, sixth, and seventh. Now go back up. Okay. It's really cool. I just dude, that is uh, that is really cool. That's that's awesome. It's super quiet too. We're gonna have to do some tuning. What I'm worried about is I, I don't want to do any tuning to it tonight, and the reason why is because um, I want to make sure that when we do the tuning, we have the app set up because I want to make sure that the app understands. Hey, we're running a seven speed, you not a thirteen. What we might do? We tried the computer. If it don't work, Grandma's uh, burner phone. Yeah, my grandma's got a burner phone. I take this to grandma's. <laughs> yeah. So the interesting thing is on the shifters up here, remember I was talking about having to kind of decipher and it being a little bit weird and going, okay, do you press the little button just to shift or do you press the big one? You have to press them both and then just separately. That is really cool. Um, that is that is too neat, man. So the front derailleur actually, Wolfman's saying basically when you think. shift the rear, since your chain alignment's going to be a little bit different, what it does is it makes up for where that chain may be and mm -hmm. rubbing on the front That's derailleur. What I'm thinking. That's it's cool. It's not doing full shifts. It's just barely moving. Something really neat as well on the rear derailleur I just noticed is whenever you go for the presses to continue to go up, right? So say it was an 8-speed or a 9-speed. It's only it's only a seven speed. So once it senses that it's no, it can't come over anymore. It goes and it comes right back and it comes right back. So therefore, it's not going to add any yeah, derailments. Okay. Well, that's pretty that's, neat. Yeah, Let me see real quick. Like, I'm going to go up to we first. Might be full of crap. Yeah, I'm going to go up towards first. I'm going to continue to hit. It. We're probably going to derail, but I just want to see what happens. Oh, it's going to derail. Let's see. Sixth, fifth, fourth, should be fourth, third. Second, or at second, first, and again, yeah, yeah, it's wanting to go. That is too neat. I keep wanting to hit the yeah, brake. No, me too. Uh, so the front does have a little sensor. We'll be getting more into this on the part two. This front does have the uh, little green light that lights up, and on the rear derailleur here, you have a green light that lights up as well. But that's pretty neat, man. Yeah, so. We're going to have to get that clamp. That clamp will be here within the next few days, which is a good news. Um, I'm going to have to be the stickler about making sure it's charged because you're horrible at that. Yeah. So the uh, Will Top EDS uh, TX, that is the electronic group set. Again, we have to worry about the front here, but we're going places. 
I love that this thing is wireless. That is so cool. Like I'm just jazzed that it's actually working and it's quiet. But all right, guys. Well, that was another Wolf Tick Videos episode of the Ozark Trail. We're going electric, <laughs> baby. This is part one. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Turn the notifications on. Next bike you should be seeing on the channel is old Dan Marino. All right. The Marino build. Absolutely. So uh, we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Yeah.